Hello, Friday Night Football fans. We've got some great district highlights ahead of you tonight as a few of our teams celebrate homecoming. Many senior guys hoping to be crowned king and get a kiss from the queen and, of course, a win. I'm Casey McAvoy, and we're coming back with Phillipsburg at Smith Center right after this. Football action on Scoreboard Show is brought to you in part by Simpson Farm Enterprises of Ransom, Hayes, Great Bend, and Beloit, your local spray coop and Apache dealer. And Peyton Buckner, your homecoming king at Smith Center, the 3-0 Phillipsburg Panthers. Zach Lynn kicks it off. Hunter Kohler will receive. Takes it down the far sideline. And he's finally brought down right there after a good gain by Cody Molzon. Kohler on the carry, and this is the second play of the game. 30-yard run, touchdown Panthers. Kohler had 120 yards on the night in the dirt. Buckmaster with the keeper, and Seth Durr gets the tackle. Fourth down. Up the middle go the Redmen. Kyler Atwood, touchdown. Phillipsburg goes option right, and it's a fumble recovered by Cody Molzon. Near the goal line, and Atwood gets plugged up on fourth and goal. Phillipsburg ball deep in their own territory, and Kohler will get a hundred and a lot of those yards right here of those 120, take it in a little more comfortable area in Smith Center country. Riley Juneman, and we got a Phillipsburg touchdown. 28 to six, Phillipsburg takes this one. The Osborne Bulldogs two and one at home versus the Wakefield Bombers one and two. Tyler Emerson and Colin Clark lead the way. And the friendly coin toss where we shake hands nicely and say politely, we are going to knock your helmets off. Short kick and Brandon Taylor receives this punt, dodges tackles, takes it back up the middle and it's a touchdown Bombers. Keenan Westerman at quarterback to Taylor and he's in. Jake Tiernan to Maverick Rock. Maverick, I'm jealous of your first and last name. He slips through the D like he's Iceman, and the Bulldogs still have the love and feeling for a touchdown. Darren into pass. Kenton Oldblocker beats the coverage and has another Bulldog touchdown. Toss to Oldblocker, right side, and consider it converted. Wade Buck for the one and two. Wheatland Grinnell Thunderhawks on the carry for a 29 yard touchdown. Tri Plains Brewster, the Titans fumble. Shane Ryburn recovers. Austin Laga to Buck. And he's going down the left side. Randy Colling on the tackle, first and goal. Toss to Buck. Sticks his head down in traffic and gets the Thunderhawk touchdown. Make that an extra two points. Buck on the outside. Seth Smith is going back to pass and it's tipped, but it's also caught by Nathan Jorgensen. Tucker Gillespie comes in for the stop. Connor Lewis left side keeps on a truck in. And Randy pulling on the tackle. What way should we go? Thunderhawk toss to Buck, keeps his feet inside after going outside and gets the score. Homecoming royalty at Paco, your queen, Haley Normandon and King Seth Armbruster. Paco kicks off to the Western Plains Bobcats and Sam Rivera on the return up the far sideline. And we're punting. Colt Newell takes the kick, brings it near side. And he's finally pushed out of bounds. And we're punting. Alex Benoit kicks to Rivera. Far side return out at the 40. Eddie Beckett back to pass. Casey Krause on the reception, tackled by a host of Roosters. Drake Wentz on the Bobcat carry, 
Up the middle and Seth Armbruster, your king on the tackle to save the open field touchdown. Wentz finishes it off and gets the score. And Beckett converts for two. Now we go to Central Plains one and two at Victoria, also one and two. Chris Wolf gets the carry, Sam Otley on the tackle. Bryce Steiner under center gives to Colton Zink. Gets stuffed by a parade of Knights. Steiner again will go to Wolf. And no stopping this Oiler from striking it rich in the end zone. Otley at QB is going to pass. And plenty of time to find Noah Dryling deep down the middle and triple coverage nonetheless. Your head coach for the Knights, Coach Doug Oberly. Deep toss, Brian Dome, and Colton Zink on the tackle. More like the spear. Fourth down, Otley to pass. And guess who's open again? Noah Dryling, touchdown Knights. They take this one 40 to 22 over Central Plains. And TMP's homecoming night there, one and two under first year head coach John Montgomery, taking on the two and one Ellsworth Bobcats. Dakota Anderson, a quarterback, will keep it down the far sideline. First down and more, Shane Zimmerman on the tackle. Tossed Mikhail Trevino. Zimmerman with a hard stick to force a fumble, and Luke Brohl picks it up. Zimmerman running the Monarch offense, gives to Brohl. Stiff arm, and Ty Nicky on the tackle. Time to score TMP, and they call up Nick Schmidt, and he's in. Dakota to pass. And he'll pass on the pass and run instead. Good decision. Many yards cuts it back to the far side. Ryan Mayorga finally gets him in the secondary. Dakota again on the carry. Gets the Bearcats to first and grow. Trevor, oh my Lee, the 213 pound run back has no troubles finding the sweet spot. And to finish it off, your number one ranked 2A lacrosse leopards at three and oh. Visit the Plainville Cardinals. Connor Collins on the kick return following blockers, and Ryan Hayes gets the tackle. Adley Gillum running the cards though. Pass to Dalton Warner. Kip Keeley knocks him, I mean knocks him down. Trevor Axelson gets a carry for a few. Taylor Yohe on the tackle. Axelson will only have east and west yards here as William Story closes the cover on this play. Jack Garcia running the Leopard O gives to Keeley and the hard hitter can't keep hold of the ball and Axelson recovers a Leopard fumble. Harrison Gillen takes the ball from Gillum and the G-men have nowhere to go in this stiff Leopard D. Dalton Klumski lays on the ball carrier for the tackle. We can't run it, we'll pass to the corner. Connor Collins in the far corner of the end zone for a Cardinal touchdown. 